Oh my, oh God, what the? Demon Slayer Sunday! Woo! So, hello everyone, this is Manager Demon Slayer Season 3, Episode 5! Woo! So, wow, I gotta say, man, Demon Slayer so far is kicking off to a great start, man, because last episode is the start of nothing but peak fight scenes, man, especially how Nezuko, Tanjiro, and Genya handle Tendenkin's clone by themselves without the Hashira supporting them. Well, that didn't really go so well at the end of but Well, let's just say, you know, Tendenkin clone really, well, being owned by Nezuko and Tanjiro because they really handled them really nicely especially with some of the scenes especially with Nesuko so oh my god Tanjiro man he has become such a smart fighter and seeing how he able to deal with that flying ass clone was just amazing man and well other than the fact that Genya proving to us that he is indeed like a well some of our semi demon because he's not been killed just yet you know this show is getting really good man especially with some of the fight scenes and this episode we're hopefully gonna see Mitsuri join the fun because well you can say she, it took her long enough to come to the scene and which Hero is most likely to deal with Gyoko, so oh my god, I'm just so excited for more demon fights, man. Especially for what to come with the wow well, CGI fishes, which I gotta say, man, that was a very interesting scene from to end of the episode. But today we're gonna see some mystery and hopefully you get to see Muchiro starring his section of the fight too. So oh my god, just can't wait already, man. So with that said, let's get started with the action, shall we? Come on, Mujiro, go and save the day from those CGI fishes. <laughs> oh, it's easy work for him, man. Oh, so he's the one in charge of his katana. Well, bear hurry, man. His sword is literally in that state already. Yeah, Tanjiro, man. He helped you out with this katana business. Typical Tanjiro. Lovely stuff from our main character. Oh! Oh shit, don't tell me the more fish CGI coming or is Gyoko the main the main guy? Oh my god, he's here everyone, let's go! Mujiro vs Gyoko time! Hey, 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 let's go baby! Oh my god, finally we get to see what Gyoko demon power can be like. Oh no, not the bell ringer. Oh fuck. Mitsuri hurting man. There's no they cannot handle the fishes, man. Yeah, let's go, Mitsuri! Come on, let's go! Woohoo! Yeah! Come on! My girl is here! Oh, easy work, man! Easy work for our love Hashira, man! Oh, oh my god, that was swift, man. Damn, Mitsuri, she is... She is a big deal, right? Oh, shit. What the hell? That is a bigger one. And no, not the chief, man. Oh my god, he's dead. He's gonna get crushed to death, man. Oh god. And don't worry, our girl has arrived. Oh, what the hell? Yo, that's a sword, it's a whip. What the hell? Yo, what the hell? No way. They can make better the bends like that? Damn. No wonder she can like swing around like a, you know, like a, sw a whip. So, oh my god, dude. This is why she can use it so easily. Like this. Ichi no kata. Let's go. Love Hashira time. L love breathing, baby. That was swift, man. Oh, oh man. That was too swift. Lovely stuff. Mystery body got spot like I am just so happy right now, man. Yep, easy work for her. Oh, good save right there. Oh, come on. Don't die on us like that, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's fine, alright. He is fine. Yeah, no need to worry there. <laughs> oh, what? Hey, next we could save the brother from more damage. Oh my god, so she should wake up first. Nice. You need Oni uh, Nimoto to the rescue, man. She looked like Onechan, by the way, but yeah, she's the Nimoto. Oh my god, seriously. That lightning guy is a big trouble. Oh shit, he's gonna blow this whole play up, man. Fucking hell. He, I mean, what do you expect? He uses wind style anyways. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh shit, dude. This guy is... Oh, oh, oh! Damn, this guy is big, tr big trouble, man. Damn, he literally blew this play to smooth read, man. 
Oh, yo, no way. She's gonna add some blood to the blade to make it fire, right? Glow, glow up, glow up. He's gonna glow it up. Okay, I gotta say, man, you portable do a really good job with the mist effect, man. Now, that is some quality stuff by the animation staff. Yo, she's gonna glow it up. She's gonna glow it up. Let's go, come on. And they jump back to the Gyoko fight. So they being a bit inconsistent there. But yeah, sure. I mean, you get to see the Gyoko fight. I'm down for it. What the hell is he presenting them? Oh my god, don't tell me. Oh my. Oh. God, what? No, this guy is messed up, man. Fuck off. No. He not only the fact he killed them, but he tortured them and turned them into a fucking human art. Jesus Christ. Okay, Gyoko is messed up, man. He he is messed up with his some sort of art like you know human centerpiece thing. Dude, this guy is a menace, man. Not only the fact that he likes to see them suffer with art, but he just enjoys seeing them like in this sort of deformed state. Oh what? They're still alive? Oh my god. Jesus Christ, Gyoko is fucked up, man. Fuck off, man. Hey, Muichiro's pissed. Oh, holy shit, he's pissed. Come on, beat the shit out of him already. Mid style. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Uh, and he just teleported to another part. Wow. Guess he's like the sort of type that fights with teleportation, huh? Hey, wow. Yes, that was fat. It's with, man. Lovely stuff. But I guess he has another part nearby. Yep, there he is. Okay, now he's pissed now. Because he destroyed his favorite vase. Wow. I'm so, so sad for you. Okay, seems like Type Mushu figured out how to kill him, but... Well, seems like he has another... Oh, shit, more fishes. What? Is that koi fish? Oh, fuck. Holy cow. He can fight needles? And of course, he's gonna fire them. Mushu gonna jump in. He uses that as a way to lure him in. It's a very typical villain move, man. Oh, fuck, no. Dude, get out of here then. Don't get, don't make more give him more work, man. Hurry. Muchiro, please don't tell me his body is now in in very bad state. Oh my of course there's poison in those things. Oh fuck. Yeah, it seems like he is in a disadvantaged state. Uh, oh my god. Oh yeah, don't underestimate my boy Muchiro, man. And he just loved to like toy with him with all those like you know, voice acting moments. Oh, never mind. Yeah, another one is thought. Oh, what? What's a prison? Oh, what? No, he's gonna drown him, isn't he? This guy is a big bad news, man. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It seems like Gyo Gyoko really is a bad news upper moon after all. He uses war and fishes. God, this guy is hard to beat for sure. Oh my god, my girl needs to go. Yep, there we go. Glow it up, man. Yes. Yo, let's go, Tanjiro. Use your fire sword. Up oh, with the power of backstory. He's gonna use this flaming sword to beat the shit out of those clones, man. Oh my god. This is Tanjiro's moment, all right. But don't worry, with the power of support and friendship, I will keep moving forward and beat my enemies. Oh my god, such a beautiful speech there, Tanjiro. <laughs> Yo, let's go, Tanjiro! This is your moment now! Let's go burn into shreds, man! Oh no, he knows, man. He knows! <laughs> oh my god, he's scared now. He's worried. Oh, oh, oh shit! Yo, let's go! Burn them to shreds, man! He no kami kakura! Oh, 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 let's go! Oh, 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 oh my god, that was swift, man! Holy shit, you fought ball, man! Oh, holy shit, bro! You fought ball! The horn! Bro, Tanjiro! That was one hell of a Hinokami Kagura, man. That was fucking insane. Oh, Genya survived. He beat the shit out of that spear guy. Oh my god, his demon blood got the better of his body. Oh, fuck. Please, don't turn sides already, man. Don't turn side, man. Oh god, this is gonna be another Nesuko problem with Genya this time. Fucking hell. Come on. Is it the end there? 
Holy shit, what an episode, man. We get to see Mitsuri love breathing and we'll go see Mucho having his first fight with his upper moon and seeing Tanjiro being goaded again with his Hinokami Kagura move. So, oh my god, this episode is absolutely peak, man. And of course, the cliffhanger ending with Genya turned into a demon and I'm pretty sure he either turned sides or he either tried to control his demon blood like Netsuko does. So... Well, let's just see how Genya, res you know, resolve his situation next week. But I'm pretty sure Genya should be, you know, mature enough to control his power since he is aware of it already. So, yeah, hopefully Genya just not turn aside. That's the big worry for me, to be honest. But let's just see how it goes in the next episode. But God say, man, this episode, you affordable once again. Go to me. I mean, I, I keep on repeating myself every week, you know, complimenting you, you post well about the animation work. It's getting old, it's getting repetitive, it's getting saturated. I get it. I, I, people know you post well is one of the top tier studio, one of the best studio in the world to, pr to produce some amazing fight scene for today's episode. Like, holy shit, man. Like, dude, that Hinokami move, the swift movements, the mist effect, and mystery love breathing, the, the movement of the, the blade. Oh my god, I can go on and on. And of course, Gyoko hideous art and of course his you know demon blood water breathing fish CGI power or something like that so oh my god I gotta say man you photo move man I can definitely understand why producer Sun said this is gonna be the best season with the best animation and yeah I am starting to believe them now well other than the CGI fishes but yeah I can say I am very happy to see that you photo move putting a lot of effort into a lot of the fight scenes and you got to know that the best of, of the, uh, the best part of a demon slayer is the fight scenes and they have to put in a lot of effort into it and they delivered man and well i gotta say man seems like tanjiro somehow awakened his more of his inner hinokami move inside of him which is the power support and i just love the fact how the anger emotion re recognized that move and and did not really flinch and but you know those other two flinch but oh my god man like i just love the fact how you know he just Tanjiro just jump right in and just cut them all to cut it all down like it was like you know cutting cake like oh my god dude uh, hopefully that should be enough to damage the body that won't be able to recover because Hinokami moves is always the most OP man and of course you know you utilizes the well I think Yorichi's you know move too so hopefully you know with that they are traumatized by it and they will respect him a bit more now so oh my god do I Tanjiro really show his progress in this episode hopefully just hopefully he can somehow use, use that Hinokami move again or use the fire blade whatever and of course you need Nesico blood for that too so oh my god guys this episode is amazing man and goes to show that Tanjiro is the type of guy that doesn't give up and uses the power support to push him forward typical isn't it but you know let's just go and talk about Kyoko and Mujiro fight because that is a very interesting face of man especially the fact that how Kyoko like to utilize human body for his art his hideous looking art like Daydara for his art and stuff like that but Jesus Christ man this guy is messed up and by the way good uh, good voice acting by the voice actor for Kyoko I forgot his name but he's the he's the same voice actor for um Kiba from Naruto but yeah he did a fantastic job giving that you know giving Kyoko a very clownly intimidating voice you know giving it making us hate him even more for how he toy with human heart and body and stuff like that so yeah he's definitely not a fan favorite all right but well let's just see how uh, Mushiro get out the with water prison seems like he uses water technique and oh, well it makes sense with the fishes but yeah I mean if it uses water technique then it's gonna be a big problem for Mushiro especially the fact that he need to find a way to get out of the, you know without you know he need to get out the prison because you know he's gonna choke from from the water he cannot use his breathing technique because you know it, well of course in um you know Goku re recognized that you know Demon Slayer especially Hashira need their breathing so he trapped him inside a water prison to not allow him to use his mist breathing that's goes to show that he's a very smart fighter too but yeah, since like Muichiro had to find a way to get out of it too. But you know, since like Muichiro is distracted with his backstory and seems like he is you know paralyzed from the poison too, and now that is gonna be a big problem. He's he's badly injured too. Well, I'm just hoping that Muichiro will find a way to get out of there. Or maybe he utilizes his some sort of maybe there's a reason why he has the backstory that you know the callback to some of his scenes from his story and stuff about some of the scenes from his flash into his backstory, so uh, hopefully that would be enough to power him up to beat Goku or something like that. Then maybe that's the purpose of it. But we just have to see, man. But I gotta say, man, the uh, Goku man, he is indeed shown why he is the Upper Moon Five, man. I, I mean, makes sense why, uh, no, um, Hantenken is a bit stronger than him with, with his clones and stuff like that. But 
Yoko, he is not to be messed with, man. He is definitely, and of course, with his teleportation technique with the vases and stuff like that, it's going to be very hard to kill him. But seems like killing him will, should be quite straightforward, according to Muchiro cutting off the neck. So, oh my god, this is just amazing stuff. It just also goes to show that Mujiro, even though he's very cocky with his, you know, Hashira moments from the past couple episodes, he showed weakness into this episode. So, yeah, I'm, ho I'm just hoping for the best for Mujiro, man. I'm pretty sure he would do something about it anyways. So, yeah, I mean, going back to Mitsuri fight, gotta say, man, I didn't know he can turn metal into a whip, man. Like, dude, how did you make the, the sword, like, so flexible like that i mean i mean i know there's some metal whip before but not like a sword like whip like like what kind of what kind of like sportsman smith magic did make to give for mitsuri's sword like how do you make it into like some sort of whip like sword but seriously man like it's amazing to see the fact that you know mitsuri is really a good fighter man love breathing though not sure how the love breathing works but maybe the love breathing resolve around the whip flexible technique able to cut from all edges maybe the purpose of the sword is able to like be more flexible able to cut edge like you know go from one spot of the body to the next spot of the body like easily like that so eh, yeah i guess if that that if she mastered that technique then she's actually quite open and you can see how she easily cut down all the fishes and stuff like that but yeah Mits misery man hopefully she can get tanjiro in time or mujiro in time to help them with the fight because she's literally in really far behind now so <sighs> This episode was just incredible, man. Of course, Tanjiro Hinokami was absolutely peak moment, man. That was absolutely peak, man. And of course, you can say you get to see a bit of Goku fight already, but whatever, man. This episode today is amazing. Absolutely loved it. And next week is halfway point. No, I think we're already at the halfway point of the season already. So next week, man, let's just see what is next for us. And hopefully Genya doesn't turn sides. So with that said, hope you guys enjoy my reaction and my review to this episode. Smash the like button and I'll see you guys next week for more Demon Slayer greatness. Danny.